Hi, Terry Shanefeld here for UAB School of Medicine. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how to calculate the negative likelihood ratio of a diagnostic test. So 200 patients are enrolled in a study to evaluate the accuracy of a new ELISA-based test for the diagnosis of influenza. 100 patients were diagnosed with influenza by the reference standard culture of respiratory secretions. 80 of the patients with influenza had a positive ELISA-based test, as did 5 of the patients without influenza. So what's the negative likelihood ratio of this ELISA-based test? Well, first we need to fill in our 2x2 two two table. There are 200 total patients in this study. 100 of them have influenza, so 100 have to not have influenza. 80 of the patients with influenza had a positive ELISA-based test, so 80 will go in this box, as did 5 of the patients without influenza, so 5 will go in that box. And then everything else just has to add up, so we'll have 95 here, and we'll have 20 here. So I think it's useful before making a calculation to think of the concept that you're trying to calculate and then the numbers will come easily. So what is a negative likelihood ratio? Well, because it's a ratio, we have to have a numerator and a denominator. And what it is, it's the likelihood or probability of a negative test in patients with disease divided by the probability or likelihood of a negative test in patients without disease. And this probability of a negative test in patients without disease is specificity. And the numerator is 1 minus sensitivity, or 100% minus sensitivity. So once you understand the word concept of a negative likelihood ratio, it becomes much easier to plug in the numbers. So let's plug in some numbers. So likelihood ratio negative. So in the numerator, we have the probability of a negative test in patients with disease. We have 100 total patients who had influenza, and 20 of them had a negative ELISA-based test. In the denominator, we have the probability of a negative test in patients without disease. We have 100 total people without influenza, and 95 of them had a negative test. So we'll put 95 right here. And then when we make the calculations, the 20 divided by 100 will be 0.2, and 95 divided by 100 will be 0.95, and when you make the calculation, it comes out to 0.21. So the negative likelihood ratio of this ELISA-based test is 0.21.